Genetic testing company 23andMe has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Its co-founder and CEO has also resigned as the company has announced that it will note that it will look to sell, quote, substantially all of its assets. But what does this all mean for your data? ABC 10's Becca Habegger explains how you can protect yourself. More than 15 million people worldwide have submitted their DNA to the genetic testing company 23andMe, looking to learn about their ancestry, piece together their family tree, and test for genetic markers. But now, with the company going bankrupt, many are wondering what this means for data. The company says protections are unchanged, but... On Friday, California Attorney General Rob Bonta issued a warning telling people how to protect their privacy and delete their data from the 23andMe app. I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, let's talk permissions. There are some things you maybe opted into when you first signed up for 23andMe that you want to revoke permissions for now. For example, asking 23andMe to store your saliva sample. You can go on here and tell them to destroy your sample. Go to the settings section of your profile. Here it says your samples are being stored. You can go ahead and click discard samples. You can also look at all the things you opted into before and you can go ahead and opt out of them. Like whether you allowed 23andMe to use your data for third party research. Here it says you have given consent. You can go ahead and revoke that consent. You might have to scroll through some text you can go ahead and read that, but then you're changing your permission to say that you do not give consent. Always make sure you're hitting submit. You should see some confirmation saying that you no longer give permission. Depending on whether you're doing it on your phone or on a laptop or desktop computer, it might look a little different. And then when it comes to permanently deleting your data, scroll down to where it says 23andMe data. Go to your delete your data section. This step actually took the longest. It appears there's a lot of folks on the system right now bogging it down. But once the delete your data screen does pop up, it allows you to decide whether to download copies of some of your data, which you might want to do. You might want a hard copy of that genetic information that after all you paid for or perhaps was gifted to you. And you can go ahead and do that there. But once you have downloaded or backed up any information that you want to keep, you can go ahead and permanently delete your data. You scroll all the way down, you'll find the bottom permanently delete data. Select that and then you'll get an email from 23andMe. Now this is very important. 23andMe says they won't permanently delete your data until you follow through on that email and confirm that you want to do it. So make sure you're checking your inbox and following through so you can rest assured your data and your privacy are as protected as possible. Now keep in mind some of what we're talking about might only apply to California consumers based on California privacy laws. So it might look a little different on your consent or opting in, opting out, depending on what state you live in. We asked 23andMe for an interview about what they plan on doing with customers' data, but they just pointed us back to their news releases saying we will seek to find a partner who shares our commitment to customer data privacy. And any buyer will be required to comply with applicable law with respect to the treatment of customer data and any transaction will be subject to customary regulatory approvals. They add 23andMe is still open for business, orders and subscriptions will continue as normal and any purchases or genetic testing kits sent in for processing will be handled without disruption. Becca Habiger, ABC 10. And we also want to note that last year 23andMe agreed to pay a $30 million dollar settle, uh, settlement in a class action lawsuit related to a 2023 data breach. It is also important to note that 23andMe treats deleting your data as an account closure. According to the confirmation email received when one of our colleagues requested to delete their data, once a customer does so, they will no longer be able to access their 23andMe account.